Story time, story time, tell your friends it's story time, story time, story time, bring your friends along. Story time, story time, tell your friends it's story time, story time, story time, bring your friends along. Hello wonderful children, hello great leaders of tomorrow. It's good to be here with you once again. I'm so happy to be here. I'm excited to be here. You know, every time we read stories, we learn new things. Remember, the readers are leaders. So the title of our story this week is Sleepy Mr. Sloth. Sleepy Mr. Sloth. Yes, do you know what a sloth is? Hmm. Let me give you... Uh, a, a brief description of what a sloth looks like okay now a sloth is a type of bear this type of bear is found in India Sri Lanka and Nepal sloths are shaggy dusty and unkept they're usually black and on their chest they have a um, a white shaped V or Y on their chest now this type of bears they're usually small they don't grow very big they are the only type of bears that carry their young ones on their back sloths are omnivores that means they eat both plants and animals they come out at night to look for insects, termites, ants, and fresh fruits. And um, they feed mainly on termites and ants. Now, when they are going in search of their food, they can close their nostrils completely. As in, they can, they can seize their breathing. They close their nostrils completely, protecting it from dust or insects when raiding for termites when they are looking for termites or insects to eat can you try closing your nostril how does it feel closing your nostril holding your nose together it's tough right now imagine the sloth it does that on its own let's move forward sloths are known to climb trees to knock down bee honeycomb which they will then enjoy on the ground after knocking down the honeycomb they'll knock they'll, they'll come down from the tree and start eating up the honey now it is this habit that has given rise to their nickname honey bears because of these habits people now call them honey bears okay so now you know a bit about the sloth and another thing i didn't tell you about this sloth is like is that it likes to sleep and it's very very slow how many of you have seen the movie zootopia remember when sly fox when the fox and the bunny wanted to go and print um a drive a, a plate number remember the animal they met there they met a sloth there look at how long it took the sloth to type in to punch in numbers look at how long they got there in the morning and they had to leave there in the evening because sloths are very very slow very very slow all right let's go into the story this story is illustrated by graham patterson it is written by Paul Kennedy, designed by Nick Mulgrew, edited by Arthur Atwell and Tarin Ann Anderson, with the help of the Book Dash participants at Cape Town on 10 May 2014. Sleepy Mr. Sloth One day, Mr. Sloth came to visit. He said, I'm sleepy. I need a good branch for a bed. Oh, I'm quite good at climbing. I know how to swing, but sleeping's my favorite, 
whatever I seen. This branch looks lovely. I think I'll sleep here. And you? Don't you think that's a splendid idea? Oh no, Mr. Sloth. A giraffe's eating there. He might think your lunch and start nibbling your hair. Ow! This branch looks lovely. I think I'll sleep here. And you? Don't you think that's a splendid idea? Oh no, Mr. Sloth. There's a beehive right there. You'll never get sleep with those bees everywhere. This branch looks lovely. I think I'll sleep here. And you? Don't you think that's a splendid idea? Oh no, Mr. Sloth. That's a snake over there. Not a branch. Poor old snake. You gave him quite a scare. This branch looks lovely. I think I'll sleep here. And you? Don't you think that's a splendid idea? Oh no, Mr. Sloth. There's a bird squawking there. You'll never get sleep with that noise in the air. <laughs> Try climb one more branch, Mr. Sloth, they all say. And that branch was just the right one for his bed. The snake and the bird, the giraffe and each bee were happy to have Mr. Sloth in their tree. So that's the end of the story. So, the sloth, about the sloth now. He's good at climbing. He knows how to swing. But sleeping is favorite, favorite thing. Hmm. What an interesting story. He likes to climb. He likes to swing. But sleeping is his favorite thing. What about you? What do you like to do? You like to do so many things, right? But what is that favorite thing you like to do? There is something you really, really like to do. And when people see that you are good at doing that thing, people will support you. You can see how everybody, uh, as in the other animals, were trying to make space for Mr. Sloth to do his favorite thing when he got to a particular branch they told him that's not the right place until he got to the last branch they were encouraging him to climb higher and higher into the tree until he got to the particular branch where he had a space to rest and he slept there if people see that there is something you like to do your favorite thing you know people will support you they will keep pushing you higher and higher until you get to the top who are the people that can push you higher your daddy your mommy your brothers your sisters uncles and aunties your teachers too when we find out that you are good at something we encourage you we want you to do better we want you to become better at it. So, if you have not found out your favorite thing, that thing you know you like to do very well, I want you to take time out to find that out. Okay? Find that out and we will be ready to encourage you and push you higher and higher until you get to the top. Alright, till I come your way again next time, keep trying, keep pushing, keep moving, never ever stop till you get to the top. Stay safe and bye-bye.